purpose of this facility is to grow smolts to transplant to the sea sites for on growing. Uh, this farm is 100% Atlantic salmon and production is more in kilos here. Uh, we raise 600,000 kilos per year. My name is Lance Page. I'm the manager here at uh, Marine Harvest Canada's Dalrymple Hatchery. I've been in the industry for 24 years now. Dalrymple Hatchery started as a, in the mid 80s as a salmon uh, smolt hatchery. Uh, it was full flow through and had many small tanks. It produced about 700,000 fish at that time. Since then, it's uh, particularly in the last 10 years, gone through many changes, uh, moving into research and larger tanks. And today the current state is just being completed a uh, new research to produce 600,000 kilos of fish per year. My name is Jordan. I've been with Marine Harvest now as an aquaculture technician for approximately eight years. The filtration systems that are being implemented in these new hatcheries are fantastic. Um, our energy costs have, have dropped considerably, we're able to reuse the water, and it works. It's, um, it's a system that's it's proving itself day in, day out. Uh, the main benefit from going from flow through to recirc is uh, it allows us to grow more biomass and use less water, so better utilize the resources we have. After the water leaves the fish, uh, it continues down to the drum filter in the process room. Uh, this is where large particulates taken out of the water, uh, down to about 30 microns. Uh, from there it goes through the moving bed biofilters, um, where the bacteria live. And from there uh, the water continues through CO2 strippers. After CO2 stripping we uh, add oxygen to the water through a LHO and at this point we can also put ozone into the water for disinfection. After ozone we treat the water with UV sterilize it, and then from there, it returns back to the fish. With my brief eight years of, of working with the company, I have seen automations, I've seen streamlining, I've seen safety protocols being implemented uh, for overall better work environment for the employee, which makes a better work environment for the fish. This site back in the 80s would have had 10 people working here and growing 700,000 fish. With the help of automation, we now grow upwards of five and a half million smolt per year with not even double the people, 18 people. So automation's played, played a big role in producing more product. My name is Phyllis and I'm a fish tech at Dalrymple Hatchery. I'm in charge of doing like fish husbandry. We fill the feeders, do a lot of cleaning and just maintain the site. The industry has changed quite a bit since when I first started working in aquaculture. Technology has really improved the way you can produce a really high quality fish. Everything is monitored, your oxygen is monitored, your feed rates are monitored. Everything is um, much more advanced now than it was back in the late 80s and early 90s. I would see this industry booming. There, there's a need for it. It's like a runner at the beginning of the, you know, at the starting line. You know, he's just twitching, ready to go. And I think we're, this industry is ready to explode and provide a high quality product for a customer who demands it.